Good day guys, Bing here, and today let's uh, let's see uh, if we can quickly model these. Uh, uh, what are they called? Waffle slab. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, let's create a project. Okay, so so I'm going to uh, create a floor. Um, I'll just use this uh, 150 concrete uh, generic floor and I'm going to place it on level 1 so empty so create a floor and now so this is a floor uh, on level 1 okay so now we are going to uh, place these so let's have a look so this is uh, um, we can use the beam system to create this but we will need to so first we need to load a beam so go structure beam so currently there's no concrete beam so we need to go load family and go to structure framing and on here concrete so you will see uh, there are so actually this one is quite similar to that okay so uh, let's use this one pen joist uh, of course uh, you can just place it so directly onto the, the floor and then you can change the height but uh, it's easier to just use the beam system so you can use uh, pick the edge of this floor and oh, oh sorry before you that, always set wood plan first. So I'm going to use uh, the level one. Or well, actually, instead of use level one, I always just pick this uh, floor. So it's the face of this floor. Floor, okay? And then you pick pick line, tab, select edge, and also this would uh, decide. This is the direction of these uh, beams. So finish it. So you will see all these members, right? And also you will notice that uh, that's actually a okay I think this is some setting of this so it looks like a slab see there is a slab thickness so this this means this means we can when we place this beam system we can use so I'll just edit this world plan and change it back to the level one so and then we can just use this the setting of of uh, this. So if I select all these, so select ASA and see change this one to match the floor. So you will see all these uh, pen joist will match the the floor thickness. Okay. So now we can just simply select this beam system. So where is it? Here. So this one. And then you can change this uh, instead of use fixed distance 1828.8. So let's have a look at this. So this looks like quite, um, I'm not sure how wide that is, but uh, what's the size of this one? It's 350. So if this is 350, this will be about, um, let's say, 500. Okay, so I'll just select this beam system change this to 500 yeah okay so and also you will see the all the new created uh, joist uh, they are the default setting of the slab thickness is 125 so it's, it's just select all and change it to um, change the change the slab thickness to 150 okay so now and also let's have a look of the material so this floor is currently nothing so let's change the uh, the material of the floor to to concrete okay so change to it to concrete and then let's have a look of this joist material so concrete cast in place concrete maybe uh oh actually let's just use this material okay so just use this material for the floor 
as well. So I'll just place it in here and OK and OK. So now if uh, if I use join, so to click on the floor and this joins, so you will see it becomes one. Okay, so you will get rid of or it will remove the line between them. See? Okay, so now if I select this beam system, control C and go escape, paste in same place and edit boundary being direction pick this one finish and you will say uh, suddenly we have all the, the joists in the other direction okay so of course you can select all and make sure the thickness it match the, the floor's thickness so that's and then that's it. Yeah, it'll take a little bit time to adjust. So this is it. This is this. And of course you can always change the setting of this. So for example, edit type, you will see all these dimensions. Okay, and also you can always use join to get rid of the line between them. Okay, that's it. Very simple. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.